All right, guys, so vlog for today. I wanted to make it a little bit different and as informative as I could. So it's Sunday, and if some of you have seen the, the Q&A I did with Josh a couple of weeks back, you'll know that Sunday is kind of my day off. It's a day where I typically switch my phone off and I just stay at home and chill or just crack on work or whatever. But it's usually the day for me to switch off my mind. And uh, you guys can see where this is going. It's all related to stress, anxiety, and how to deal with it. So today I'm going to take you guys on the road trip. Um, we're going to go down to the Buddhist temple, uh, the monastery, and we're going to meditate for the day. And I thought I'd vlog this for you guys because I thought it would be a really, uh, really interesting experience as to how I get about you know, dealing with stress. So I'm going to take you guys there with me. And then we're going to break down some some techniques on how to be able to cope with stress day in and day out. So guys, join me on the rest of this vlog and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Alright guys, so we've made it to the Buddhist monastery here in the middle of nowhere basically and we're just about to go in. This place is absolutely insane, it's like country roads everywhere, just green fields all over the place and it's so chilled and just being here I already feel like just so in my element and it's absolutely brilliant. I've got a little special guest with me today but they do not wish to be part of the vlog. <laughs> But one of my best friends, so I'm gonna make her be part of it. Um, so I thought it'd be really cool to bring someone that just wanted to share this journey with me on just being chilled and another good way of just kind of forgetting the week we've had ahead, so, or behind, shall I say, and a good way to start the week ahead. So anyway, let's uh, just follow me. So we've been to the temple, we kind of just chilled for like 10-15 minutes just meditating, doing a few basic breathing exercises and I haven't done anything like this in a long time and it was really freaking cool, um, it was really chilled, you know you just kind of close your eyes, just sit down, you got this damn big Buddha like in front of you just staring down at you and it's just it's just so peaceful and you just for, for a little bit you just forget everything and I was gonna try find a spot where I could kind of just sat, sit down and just uh, talk about my input on how to deal with day in day out stress but I thought it'd be interesting if I just kind of keep it on the go it's a bit windy and just talk about it so um, for those of you that follow me a long time uh, especially my clients will know that in the past I have dealt with things which I'm very open about anxiety and panic attacks and the more I understand them and being in the industry that I am and you know, I'm trying to motivate you guys the more I, I realize that day in day out you know life has its stresses it has its anxious moments and what I've learned through that is that as human beings we don't always accept those things about us so for me for example to, from personal experience I didn't accept the fact that I was anxious and no idea where I'm going let's go this way uh, you know that I was dealing with these sort of uh, situations and when I approach my clients you know a lot of them have very stressful jobs and as a lot of you watching this will do as well you know you may work in an office you may work in a public services you know whatever it is that you do you're gonna deal with day in day out life stresses and how do you deal with them is the question okay so um, one way I find um, <coughs> really good to deal with such things is to meditate and I'm very big on my meditation I'm I personally am a very spiritual person but 
when it comes to meditating, I don't necessarily mean going to a place like this and sitting down in silence and doing breathing exercises and just wind down because, let's face it, not everybody can do that. It doesn't suit everyone. But meditating can be little things such as going for a walk, you know. Um, yesterday, if some of you would have seen this and would have come across my Insta Snap and my Snapchat, I like going for long drives, just chilled, long drives, just to wind down, forget everything. Um, and that's a form of meditation. In other words, something in which you can switch off the mind, switch off about the worries, you know. Um, I had a really interesting conversation with a client of mine, and this particular client, they said to me, oh, you know what, like last night, you know, I didn't really sleep. I woke up at a uh, certain o'clock in the morning, like silly o'clock in the morning, and I was thinking about work, so I had to get out of bed and go do some notes. And that's not always the healthiest thing. And it's just... We need to find, you need to find a way to be able to disconnect from work, disconnect from the stresses of day to day, because getting ill, being unhealthy, uh, falling into a depression, having panic attacks, these are all down to things that, you know, we don't disconnect from day in and day out. And, and we seek a help of a drug like antidepressants and things like that and it's not in my opinion not the best way to deal with it and how do I link this to fitness you might be wondering and it's down to you know if we're gonna make it I want to make this obviously about day-to-day -day, uh, you know life because I'm trying to motivate you guys in every aspect both from fitness health and just day-to-day -day motivation so but if we're to link this to fitness to say you know in order for your body to recuperate to recover from exercise from to get the results you want be it fat loss be it muscle gain um, you know stress has a massive impact and if your stress levels are very high uh, your hormones your body the way your body does things is not going to be uh, efficient in a very efficient way and you're going to feel tired constantly and you're going to suffer from things like headaches and your sleep is going to be bad and even if you sleep really well <coughs> the constant stress is going to make you feel like you're really really damn tired and that's not really healthy for you at all so Today I've come and thought I'd take this experience and I thought I'd vlog the whole experience. Um, so we've been here for about half an hour now and it's really peaceful. And for me, being in the job that I am, I'm very passionate about helping everybody. But my mind is constantly on the go. Every morning I'll get up, I'll listen to a podcast, I'll train my clients, I'll come home, do some work. You know, I'll work at the gym and then I'll listen to more podcasts. And my brain is constantly on all four cylinders going, damn, 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 damn. And sometimes I find myself just... I sleep really well and I'm like, damn, I'm so damn exhausted, you know. And when you're so stressful and tired, you're not going to give 100% in life. You're not going to give 100% to your business, to your job, to your family, to your partners, to your friends, whatever it is you may be. You're not going to be able to give 100% to yourself. So what I'd suggest is find something in which you can find something that's therapeutic to you that you can deal with your life stresses a way which you can unwind and relax and just switch the brain off for a bit. We're in a world where our brain is always on four cylinders and we have so much access to things like social media all the time and we're always on our mobile. And you know, for today, my mobile's on do not disturb and I've just got the GoPro because it's, you know, it's a little bit better that way so I can vlog this and not pay so much attention to my mobile phone. And it's kind of good, there's actually not that great signal in here and around this area, but you know, find something in order to deal with stresses and anxieties in which you can switch off, be yourself for a little bit, focus on you, you know, and for once just give yourself the attention you may be needing. And that may be the, the one thing which you might need in your life right now um, to make you happier, to make you sleep better, to get you better results. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't want to go repeat myself over and over so hopefully you guys understand what I'm trying to get with this so so far this experience has been absolutely insane and um, and yeah I mean guys check this place out is absolutely brilliant just green just peaceful everywhere absolutely
I thought I'd ask him the ultimate question, which I get asked often as I like to meditate. And the question, the ultimate question is, what did I ask him? <laughs> it was, how do you, how do you release your stress? How do you find, meditate? How do you meditate? How do you find the time or how do you find a way to, um, in the busy minds that we all have, how do you find a way, you know, to just shut the mind out? And it came with kind of an unexpected answer, uh, but it made a lot of sense. And his answer was basically that a lot of times we can't focus and we can't meditate because when we try, we try to follow a specific method. And when we try to follow a specific method, we try to get the mind to shut down. And by trying, you're making the mind work. So he said, even if you have a very hyper mind, which I do, and I, I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this will, um, you know, just simply just be, just accept yourself, uh, accept your mind for what it is. If it's a busy mind, a stressful mind, just accept it. And you will find that accepting, you will just not kind of, you know, if you try to meditate, you won't think of a method. You, you know, you're just, just accepting in itself is enough to just get the mind to slowly stop. It was along those lines, wasn't it? You, just stop. you know, you just Sometimes stop. Just stop. Sometimes just stop and don't think about it. You know, don't think of what method you should take to meditate. Don't think about meditating as such because you're causing more to go on in the mind. You have to think, I need to meditate, and that causes more stress. So he, it's basically in the words of the senior monk, I believe he was here, um, just stop, basically. You know, don't think about it. And if you do have a busy mind, accept your mind for what it is and accept yourself for what you are. And you will find that over time, you just can't fathom with that. You should give his example. Which one? That you, when you breathe, you think about breathing. Yes, <laughs> you do. So that's a very true one. He also said when you breathe, you know, like when you sit down to, and focus on your on breathing to, to meditate, you know, you're focusing on your breathing. So th don't think about it. It's basically, you know, don't think about breathing, just, you know. Yeah, but when you think about breathing, you make it hard for yourself. Yeah, exactly. There's some wise words you from Kara. When you think about breathing, you do. So, what was that? I think so. I'll make it like, I don't know if they heard you. Was it? So when you think about breathing, you make it harder for, you make it harder for yourself. And that's so very, very true. So don't think about it. Just stop. Just take breathe. Life as it comes. Take life as it comes and accept uh, for what you, yourself for who you are, what you are, and your mind for what it is. And I can certainly, from experience and from the people I train and people I talk to, can guarantee that most of us, whether we want to admit it or not, what we struggle with is accepting ourselves for what we are, who we are. And when we have a busy mind, is accepting that within us that we have a busy mind and sometimes you think you hear people so many times say we need to shut the mind off and you simply can't because you're thinking about shutting the mind off but when you don't think about it you just do it and it is easier said than done but don't think about it so I think that's some really wise words for for this vlog and I think now we're just gonna go grab some food I think we're gonna hit the road and get some food I think this has been an absolutely insane experience um, I haven't been to a place like this since I was a kid and I thought this would be a brilliant opportunity to get some knowledge bombs to you guys so we're gonna hit the road and uh yeah stay with us Bye. <laughs>